And so it would seem the Iron Age is upon us, and now it has a name thanks to the most eloquently prolific possible vampire, Razor Fist. We have so many creators coming out adopting the phrase saying, I am an Iron Age creator. Hell, I've even said based off of the way that Razor Fist has talked that I'm kind of an Iron Age YouTube channel because of what I'm going to talk about and the fact that, well, we need people to shout this stuff out. So with that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce and welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. Today, we are going to talk about an Iron Age creator. But before we do, I'm just drinking cheap beer tonight, guys. I, I'm not, I'm, I'm poor. I can't, I can't, I can't buy the expensive stuff every day. But what we can do is give our support and hopefully somebody out there is not as much of a poor as I am and you guys can support this creator. Let's go over to Talking Pulp Press. Talking Pulp Press on Substack. Admittedly, I have heard about Substack in the past. I have never been to Substack. Uh, I created a little account here so I can follow some people on it, but let's go to the about section of Talking Pulp Press. What is Talking Pulp Press? It's an independent publishing imprint that is putting out the Barbarians of the Storm book series and plans on releasing other books in the future, primarily other works by Rob Rhymes, from fiction to collections of his reviews of on specific movie genres. Uh, there are also <clears throat> plans to publish regular short stories and uh, regular short story anthologies from other authors once the ball really gets rolling as for now the newsletter is focused on all things surrounding the developments of the barbarians of the storm series but it will also feature updates and news regarding all other projects as they start to take shapes so <clears throat> one of these that is taking shapes is barbarians of the storm or dan the destructor we actually talked about dan the destructor twice last week which was a fantastic uh over here on iron age media a fantastic article right here done by katherine francis and she did a wonderful job there and has uh and i would recommend that everybody make sure that you bookmark ironage.media in your uh uh window or in your you know google search up here talking pulp press barbarians of the storm he says this is a really great review of dan the destructor now in reviewing this today for the channel i decided i want to talk about this an update post hurricane ian look at all that destruction so not only do we have an iron age creator here but we also have an iron age creator that had to weather the storm that just massively massively messed up the southern part of florida i have a couple friends down there in fact actually you guys would know convoy bebop from the channel also lives in florida he was out of the line of fire for the most part but massive flooding still swept through his area so let's read what talking pulp press has to say as an update for that so progress with book three has been halted after hurricane ian pretty much destroyed my area it's also why i haven't given an update here in over a week luckily my home is okay as far as i can tell but i don't have power and might not for another week or longer wow i've been staying with friends but that's probably only through today as i probably have to go back to my real job tomorrow then i'll probably be staying with family as they're much closer to my work, I'm currently over an hour away from there. As somebody who drives more than an hour every day to get to my regular job, it sucks having to drive that far every day. And it throws off your plans and just driving that much has so much fatigue on the body. So Rob, that's I, I feel you there. I feel what the long drives can do. Anyway, my brain has been fried and numb, and I haven't done much outside of vegging out, watching news updates, and drinking bourbon. Well, at least you have something to preoccupy the mind in these tough times is a good thing. Fort Myers Beach, where I lived nearly 50% of the time over the last dozen years, because it was my girlfriend's home, is devastated to the point that I don't see how it can ever come back. It certainly never will in its unique way. That's that really hits me in the hits me the hardest, especially since there are so many locals there I've gotten to know over the years. I have no idea what their status is, and I'd have to assume that some of them didn't make it. 
life is significantly altered going forward. I just hope that over the next week or so, most of us here can start to feel any sense of normalcy again. I barely had the ability to focus on writing this. So one of the things that I wanted, one of the reasons I wanted to start leaning into the Iron Age stuff, and I've been saying Iron Age for a little while now, not in every video, but in several videos, was because I feel that these these massive megalithic or monolithic megalithic monolithic yeah pick your fucking word you want to pick there corporations have absolutely decimated the storytelling and the true creative spirit of what we can offer here in america american comic books as far as marvel and dc are concerned have been absolutely decimated by the fourth great religion and that is something that deeply saddens me although i didn't grow up reading a lot of the comic books i did grow up researching a lot of the comic book characters and watching as much of the animated uh stuff that i could get my hands on i also grew up with the MCU. I mean, even though I was a teenager when all that really started, but it still had an impact on me really up until Endgame. Seeing what has happened to the American comic books, so many people out there have decided that they can't find where to go. They can't find good stories anymore in the American comic book style. So they're retreating over to the Eastern style, the Japanese manga, which I think if most of those people knew that this entire subculture of Iron Age creators was out there, they would actually flock back to the American creators. They would actually put their money here with the American creators. This is one of the reasons that I wanted to do this. And now we have an American creator, an Iron Age creator, who went through an intense storm. We probably have many Iron Age creators that went through this intense storm, but this just so happens to be the one that is on my radar and the one that I want to talk about today. I think it would be massively helpful to Rob if you guys would go and find his books, Barbarians of the Storm and Dan the Destructor, which let's get another shot of that here. You know, and go support the Dan the Destructor, you know, Barbarians of the Storm book one and show him how strong and how thirsty we are in the Iron Age. Share this with your comic book friends. Say, hey, guys, we have stories here in America. You don't have to retreat to the manga if you don't want to. You just have to understand that there is something more out there than just the big two. The Iron Age means something. It is a cultural movement happening right now with YouTube creators and uh, online uh, uh, article websites talking about this stuff. You know, we don't really have a bounding into comics for the Iron Age outside of ironage.media, which again, bookmark that page. I would also ask you to come over to Talking Pulp Press and bookmark that page as well and make sure that you guys are following all of this. But we need to build this culture. We need people with the bullhorns out there. Now, I don't have any bullhorns, but, you know, I bought a microphone and some other stuff, and I guess that'll work, right? And so we have to get the word out there. And if we really want to build this culture, a decentralized culture around comic books, a decentralized creator area that's not controlled by these massive corporations, this is how we do it. We just have to spread the word. We have to get it out there and we have to show the Iron Age that we have your back. And when I have the money, I will be doing the best that I can to purchase what I can. You know, the channel is only uh, 40 plus subscribers away. Well, 30 plus subscribers away from being monetized. Maybe my channel could get big enough to where it could pay that I could actually send these Iron Age creators my money. And I could actually support them in the monetary way that I would hope to. But for now, hopefully my voice reaches your ears. Hopefully my words meant something to you. Hopefully you understand the thirst for having good storytelling again. Because it wasn't until all of this started, the hype around Isom number one from Eric July, that I went, you know what? It's time. It's time that I actually start to engage in more than just trying to buy the animated movies because I don't even really want to buy those anymore. And so now I'm directing my attention to something that I probably should have a long time ago. 
and picking up the books. I have two books that are showing up on Saturday. I will be reading those. And the author actually reached out to me before I bought the books and asked to be on the channel. So I will also be working on that. The other thing too is I am going to have the creator of IronAge.media here on Friday's live stream. He will be on at 8.30 p.m. I will be starting the live stream at 8 p.m. So that way it gives everybody time to shuffle in before the interview so you don't feel like you've missed anything. I can show up, ramble, be the goofy clown that, you know, I'm apparently called in my gilded, but I will be your clown for 30 minutes and then hopefully I will be the gracious host at 8.30 p.m. On Friday, what would that be? October 7th, 2022, to the creator of IronAge.media. I will at be asking him some questions, and then we will turn it over to the chat so you guys can ask him some questions. So thank you all so much for being here on A Drink With Crazy. Hopefully you guys like the content that I am putting out and hit the subscribe button for me. That would be amazing. It would also be amazing if you guys would like the video as well, and it would be even more amazing if you guys would comment down below and talk with me because one of my favorite things to do is engage with everybody. I have limited time now to engage with everybody, but I do my best to get to every single comment and I make sure to read. And the way that you know that I am reading your comment is if I heart it. If I don't have the time to read your comment, I don't hit the heart button, right? But if I read your comment and I like what you're saying and I don't feel you're here just being a dick, I'll probably heart your comment and that lets you guys know that I at least am reading it. And then on top of that, I do my best every Sunday to go and read all of your comments in the reading your comments videos that I upload every Sunday. So thank you all so much for being here on a drink with crazy. And until next time, cheers, everybody.